this lesson, we're going to have a look at what it means to expand and simplify algebraic expressions. So the first question we need to ask is, what does it mean to expand an algebraic expression? And the answer is that in an expression that you've been asked to expand, there is definitely going to be a bracket of some form, and it's going to look something like this. Now, this is what we call a general form of a bracket, but in the next step, we're going to see how this can be expanded out. So if we take the bracket here, we can use what we call the distributive law to work it out. So here it is, A, B plus C. And we take the term outside the bracket and multiply it with the first term inside the bracket. And then we take the term on the outside again and multiply it with the last term in the bracket. And this can be written like this, AB plus AC. So that's the idea of expanding. Let's do an example, see how this works. So this is something that looks like that. So there's the term outside the bracket and inside the bracket, we've got X minus three. So let's write it out like this. We take two X, X minus three. We take those terms, that's the term outside and the first term inside, multiply them. Use the index laws, that's x times x is x squared. And then it's a positive, this is a positive term. This is a minus term, you'll see there, positive and a minus give us a minus term in the end. And then two times three, so it's two x times three. Now it's important to get the negatives and positives right. I always look at the term here and look at the term here. And if that's a positive and that's a minus, we know the overall final term is going to be minus. So I write it down and then just multiply it out two times three. So our final solution looks like this. Two X squared minus two times three is six X. And that can't be simplified down because X squared and X are not like terms. All right, so let's have a look now at what it means to expand and simplify in an algebraic expression so that you know that when we do these sorts of things, you've got to do both in many cases. So here's an example that is quite, it seems quite complicated, but we're going to work through it and see if we can get it right. There are negatives, there are positives. We're going to have to use the index powers and we're also going to have to simplify at the end. So we'll write it out again, three a squared brackets a plus one. There's our first expansion we need to do. Here's our next expansion and we go through now and multiply them out. So let's see if we can do this. I'm going to look at this one here first of all. 3a squared times a, so that's three. Remember a squared, using our index laws, there's a one there, so that's a to the power of three because we add the powers. Now that's a positive times a positive, so the term is going to be positive. 3a squared times one, so that's three a squared. Now here we've got some interesting ones because we've got a minus here and a positive here. I want you to remember that when you multiply through in a situation like that, the sign always stays with the term that comes after it. In other words, it's part of the term. So we're going to multiply these together and then we're going to multiply these together. And I wonder if you can see you've got a minus here and a positive here that you're going to multiply out, what does that give us? Well, we'll see. So it's a minus times a positive. So it's a minus two times a times a squared. And we'll use our index laws. So that's a cubed. And here's our minus times a positive. So if you wrote down a minus, you would be right. Then it's two a times a, that's two a squared. Now the final step is to identify any like terms. So there's an a cubed here, so that's three a cubed. And here we've got a minus two a cubed. Remember, 
the sign goes with the term. So we can actually write those terms together. 3a cubed minus 2a cubed. And because they're like terms, we can collect them. Let's see if there are any others. Well, there's 3a squared and there's minus 2a squared. So we can combine these together as well. 3a squared minus 2a squared. So our final step is to simplify. 3 minus 2 is 1, so that's 1a cubed. And we'll write it down without the 1 there because it's an invisible 1. And then we've got 3 minus 2 again, so that's a minus from a positive, but that's bigger, so it's going to be a plus as well. So it's 3 minus 2 is 1, so that's a squared. Once again, we don't have to write the 1 in front of it. And there's our solution. So we've expanded up here, and then we've simplified down here. And that's how we expand and simplify algebraic expressions. Take your time over them, watch the signs, the negatives, positives, and so on, and make sure that you collect like terms with the sign that goes with each term. And if you do that carefully, you should be able to work through some fairly complicated questions. Thank you.